But, Senator, as you will know, back in 1996 campaign, this man, Johnny Chung, have very similar circumstances, and he pled guilty to illegally funding of money. And he was quoted as saying, I see the White House is like a subway. You have to put in coins to open the gates. How do you convince the American people that you have changed, that you are not going to be the recipient of, of this tainted money? Well, you, this is a problem for every campaign, Tim. And, you know, you have donors. I have more than 100,000 donors, the vast majority of whom have given me less than $100. And every campaign does the best job it can. Uh, but whether it's uh, campaigns or any other aspect of American life, you try to be as vigilant as possible, but sometimes things uh, get through the net. And then you act as quickly as you possibly can, which my campaign has. Uh, I am very uh, much aware of uh, how difficult it is to find out everything, but we're taking extra steps to see if we can't um, make sure that any information anywhere is available to us. But remember, every campaign missed this. Uh, law enforcement authorities in California obviously uh, did not uh, catch this. So we're going to do what we can to make sure it doesn't happen. But again, the real answer is uh, we're spending an enormous amount of time, money, and effort raising money, mostly to be you know, clear, to go on television. Uh, and we have got to solve this. It is not good for our political system. It is certainly not the way that most people I know who run for office and want to try to do something good for their constituents and their country want to be spending all of their time. And we've got to figure out how we're going to address it. And there has to be a way uh, that public financing uh, becomes the law of the land.